Good evening, I'm Rick Garcia. And I'm Sharon Tay. The budget deficit is almost twice as big as the governor thought it would be. So tonight, Jerry Brown is proposing even more drastic cuts to social services and pay cuts for state workers. Now, he also is pleading with California voters to approve a tax hike in the November election. As KCAL 9's Dave Lopez explains. A Riverside mom was killed as she crossed a street on Mother's Day. She wasn't hit by just any vehicle. She was struck by a police cruiser. And now an investigation is underway, and KCAL 9 Inland Empire reporter Greg Mills spoke with the woman's distraught family. And Ontario police is, or priest rather, is uh, denying new accusations against him that came right after getting out of jail for molesting a 12-year-old boy. Now, the illegal use of disabled parking placards is at the center of controversy in a Westwood neighborhood near the UCLA campus. Now, residents are accusing students of using them to park for free, even though they're not disabled. KCAL 9's Louisa Hodge shows us how law enforcement is starting to take notice. In tonight's Health Watch, your child's bottles, sippy cups, and pacifiers may not be as safe as you think. A new study has some alarming findings about the number of injuries involving baby bottles. <laughs> Doctors suggest parents get rid of the pacifiers after six months and transition to cups without lids before children turn one years old. Mayor Antonio Villaragosa and Police Chief Charlie Beck showed off results of Saturday's gun buyback. The gun well, Staples Center is the place to be these days. The Lakers, the Clippers, and the Kings all have playoff games coming up this week, and local sports fans are just going wild. Pillow pads have become a must-have for kids, and as KCAL 9's Teresa Garcia tells us, it was a Southern California mom who came up with the million-dollar idea. Well, the state is going to have to move pretty fast on a high-speed rail line in a risky race against a deadline to keep federal funding. Okay, it's probably safe to say some people worship chocolate, like Rick Garcia. Yeah. Well, now they have their own temple. Take a look. Do it and take a bite. Yeah. I like that. Put it in the sun and it all melts. Well, this week, it, you it don't want to leave it outside, right? Fondue, which nice I love. Fondue. A dramatic scene in Panorama City after a chain reaction wreck. A fire hydrant sheared off and the geyser of water caused a... California's budget crisis got a whole lot worse today. Governor Brown revealed that the deficit is almost twice as big as his staff predicted it would be. So tonight, he's proposing more devastating cuts to social services and pay cuts for state workers. And as KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Ryan shows us, the governor's also pleading with California voters to approve a tax hike in the November election. An Ontario priest jailed for molesting a 12-year-old boy is denying claims he celebrated his release by partying with kids. Sailing's governing body will investigate an accident that killed four sailors, including two men from Southern California. U.S. Sailing. Some famous chefs are staging a food fight in Santa Monica. They're battling a new state law banning a popular French delicacy. But as KCAL 9's Serene Branson tells us, some say the dish involves animal cruelty. A 24-year-old Georgia woman is fighting for her life tonight. She's in critical condition as doctors try to stop a rare case of flesh-eating bacteria. Amy Copeland. Your frequent flyer miles and credit card reward points are the newest targets of cyber criminals. Now, these scams are devious, clever, and easy to fall for. And if you're not careful, somebody else could be taking off with your next vacation. If you have any questions about whether an email offer from an airline or credit company is legitimate, call the company before responding to the email. One phone call could save your miles and points from being stolen. Thank you. An Oceanside woman will be having sweet dreams for a long time. She's the inventor of pillow pets, which has become a multi-million dollar business. 